Hey, welcome back to Hazmat Ops Training. Let's get straight into today's topic, and that is when will the 2024 ERG be released? We've had a lot of questions about that, and the FEMSA website says somewhere mid-spring 2024. If you wonder why it won't be available January 1st, it's pretty normal uh, for a mid-spring release of the revision year. If you still have your copy of the 2020 revision of the ERG, don't panic. It doesn't expire. It doesn't self-destruct. Uh, it's still going to be very relevant and very usable until your 2024 edition arrives. And FEMSA has been soliciting information from the public, uh, from the response community for several months regarding uh, the needed changes for the 2024 revision. Based on those inputs, uh, the list that we've put together here today is, are things that we've gathered from open sources on the internet uh, from some of those partners who have been heavily involved in the revision process and we've put together a list of anticipated changes. Very important to remember, these are anticipated changes. FEMSA has not come out yet and said exactly what the changes will be for 2024. Now, typically, they will a month or so in advance before they actually hit the street. FEMSA will publish a, a one-pager uh, type of, of document uh, that they will put on their website for the actual changes that will take place. The first of the anticipated changes I want to talk about is adding a QR code for reporting incidents. Now, we don't know exactly what that's going to mean. Uh, we're assuming that it's things like NRC reporting. While this would be a nice convenience, uh, we'll have to see what exactly what that looks like when the book comes out. The next of the anticipated changes is adding information for electric vehicles. Now, electric vehicle issues and specifically electric vehicle fires are presenting a major issue for responders. In the description of this video, I've got some links to some articles that will help you with information about dealing with electrical vehicle issues. One in particular that I like is an article from the U.S. Fire Administration, which contains information for you to share with your citizens regarding safety when charging their electric vehicles. Some of the other links from the National Transportation Safety Board, CBS News did a really nice piece on responder issues to electric vehicle fires. There's also information there from the International Association of Fire Chiefs and the NFPA. Again, that's not comprehensive for all issues with electric vehicles, but it will give you some reference. Now, we don't know exactly what the electric vehicle edition will look like for the 2024 ERG, but I'm pretty excited about this. The next of the anticipated changes we'll talk about is the expansion of several guides. And FEMSA generally does this. Uh, they, they make some tweaks to a few of the guides. The, the anticipated changes for this revision are to guide 115 for flammable gases and guide 140 for oxidizers. Again, we don't know exactly what these changes will be yet. Next on the list of anticipated changes is updating the marking, labeling, and placard ID charts which are located in the front of the ERG. It's important to understand that there's also been changes to DOT chart 17, which is the source of information for placarding and labeling, which goes into the ERG. Now these changes to DOT chart 17 are primarily the background color, the UN number displayed in a white square on point configuration, and the lithium battery label versus the lithium battery mark. The next anticipated change is giving the first aid guidance its own section. Now, if you're familiar with the ERG, you know that the first aid information is in the orange guide pages. I really like the idea of giving this its own section. I hope it actually makes it into the 2024 revision. Sometimes it's easy for the first aid information to kind of get lost in the wordiness of the, of the guide pages. Additionally, it's expected that chemical warfare and biological agents may get their own section. Now, the last of the anticipated changes are adding and removing several UN numbers. This is normal for an ERG revision. It happens every time. And that's just to keep us in line with the hazardous material regulation. <music> Now, several distributors are taking pre-orders for the 2024 ERG. Uh, I've specifically put one link uh, in the description to J.J. Keller. They're a major distributor in the safety and compliance world. I want to make it clear that we're not an affiliate with J.J. Keller. Uh, they just do a really good job, and we've shared their link. We make no money off of any sales from that link. A quick reminder to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We've also got a Facebook page that we'd like to invite you to join. 
It's also named Hazmat Ops Training. We hope you've enjoyed the video today. Hope the information is usable for you. We'll see you next time.